Hello there, YouTube fans and artists. Hey, welcome to Art for the Heart Painting Show. I'm your host, Mark here. I'm going to stand up so you can see my shirt. If you dislike it, sit right on my shirt. Art for the Heart. Welcome to Art for the Heart Painting Show. I'm your host, Mark here. And behind me is a 16 by 20 canvas. And what I'm going to do in, in this video is tell you how I did this painting. And... Uh, you know, how, how I did it and everything like that. Uh, plus two, uh, on this video, I'm going to, in a minute, I'm going to show you something that I did out of wood. And you'll have to go on one of my other videos and see a heart that I made out of wood. Uh, when you view that paint, uh, when you view that, uh, you'll see a heart. And it's here in the, it's here in the set, here I got it on the set. And uh, so let's get started here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this heart here. Put my pointer down. <laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> oh dear, sorry about that. <laughs> Starting already, it's not even front. <laughs> I ain't on this, man. Whoa. It's not. Twice. Twice it did this. Twice. Can you believe it did it twice already? This is not in Friday yet. No. And it did it twice. Now, I hope I, I don't do it again. I'm not going to cut that. Y'all see it once I up, upload it to YouTube, then y'all then y'all see. <laughs> no, I'm sorry about that. Okay, this is it. <laughs> This is it right here. All right, now this is an apple, and uh, but you can't eat this one. That's cause mayo. It's <laughs> mayo wood. All right, you see right here. No, I didn't take a bite of this. Okay, this, but this, what this is is this is mayo wood, and what it is is a keychain holder. This is a keychain holder, and put you see this hook right here. Uh, now, some of y'all just viewing me, some of y'all probably in, into woodworking, and if you're uh, taking woodworking, uh, it's fantastic because that way I can show this to y'all. And I'm going to let y'all see it. Now, never mind the, the paint out here because this, this is not the kind of paint supposed to be on here. I'm going to let y'all see it. Okay, it's made of real thick wood. had to be cut out with a bandsaw. Okay, I'm going to turn on the back. And you see a hole right there. You see that hole right there? Oh. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, man, I'm not quitting that. <laughs> So if I want to belt on honey, I'm and I'm not calling I'm not calling y'all honey out there, but uh, if I want to belt on the show, I'm a belt. All right. Okay. Behind me is it's a 16 by 20 canvas. Now you've been seeing this uh, on on some of my videos a lot, but I'm gonna sit here and tell you how I did this. Okay. And uh, I'm I'm gonna show you uh, how how I did it. Okay. First of all, what you do, <laughs> oh, that was a good one, all right, oh, I just love that. that, that was a good one. Now this is a, what you call, a wet on wet technique, okay, uh, now if you don't have no uh, 
let's say we we go uh, go in there and put some li uh, liquid. Uh, let's say this put some linseed oil on here, and ver vertical means you go straight up and down. Like this is vertical. Horizontal means you go. Oh dear, dude. So my my brush is falling down. I'm not gonna cut that. Okay, vertical means you go straight up and down. Horizontal means you go straight across. This is horizontal. Horizontal means horizontal means this. You go straight across with it. Vertical means you go straight up and down. That's vertical. Vertical is like this. Straight up and down. Horizontal means you go straight across. That's that's doing that. Now, let's uh let's load up the palette. Uh no no no, that's wrong. That's not on my, that's not on my, no. let's load up the brush with paint. That's what's on, 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 y'all hang on just a minute, I gotta check something. Alright, now, so anyway, let's load up this, this deal here. Alright, I have a palette here that has some paint on it. Alright, use your imagination. <laughs> Y'all saw that. <laughs> Woo. Uh, but y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that when I did that on camera, huh? Y'all saw that. Okay. Alright. Now, but y'all saw it, right? Okay. I'm going to hold it this way then. Okay. So you got some paint on, on you got paint on your, on your brush. Go up here and make circle crisscross strokes. So you go like this. Cross it out. Okay. So you got some blue right here. You want, probably want some light blue anyway, okay? Probably want some light blue. Okay. So you do it like this. And keep that light blue in there. Now, you wash your brush out and oh, the snare. Okay, let me explain about that. Uh, stop. Uh, stop it right here. Okay, now, I wash my brushes out in oh, this paint thinner. I don't wa wash them out in turpentine. Turpentine stinks. Unless you want to wash yours out. Uh, if you're, uh, if you view me and, and you do oils, uh, me, I don't wash mine out in in turpentine. I wash mine out in oldest paint thinner uh, because it's oldest uh, turpentine. If you wash your brushes out in turpentine, uh, if you're not used to it, it can it can make you sick. Um, it might give you a headache or whatever, but it it might make you sick or whatever. I just don't use turpentine. Okay. I used it one time and I thought that's it on tap. I'm not going to use turpentine no more because turpentine stinks. Okay, now after you do that, after you put that on, wash up, brush out, and uh, oil the snare, dry it off, then you want to blend in your sky. So you blend in using horizontal strokes. So you go like this and blend in your sky. Because you want blue right here and blue right there and part of this is white. Now, part of this painting was done by Black Gesso. Now you can buy that black, 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 black. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can, you can buy black, black, black. <laughs> I can't think of the word. I'll get it together. You can buy black, black gesso. I'll, I'll get it right. You have to see, that's what I'm telling you. This is my show. <laughs> Woo okay, so you, so you can buy black, black gesso. I'll get it. So, like right here in these trees, it was done in black gesso. Okay. Uh, down here where the waterfall is, this is, this is done in black gesso. Uh, this part was done in black gesso. This was in black gesso. Okay, so you can buy you can buy black gesso. Okay, now 
Alright, so I'm going to use a brush here, and this is a new brush. It's not all that new. I've been having this brush for many years. And by the way, I'd like to tell y'all, to you YouTube viewers out there and artists and stuff, that I am professional. Okay, I am a professional artist. I, oh dear. What? Dropping my brushes on the studio. I'm sorry. I mean, set. I'm sorry about that. Okay. I'm trying not to do that no more. I'm going to say, ooh, jump on with that artist. Uh, sometimes I'm just trying to have a good time. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, <laughs> now I've been painting for nearly over 30 years, so. <clears throat> When I upload this, make sure you read the write up to it, okay? <clears throat> so I've been painting near that over 30 years I've been doing this. So this is loads of fun. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Let's say we go into a uh, lavender color. Got green, blue, let's see, we got green, sap green, a little ivory black, blizzard and crimson. Uh, that right there that came up. Ooh. <laughs> This tastes like a chicken, <laughs> chicken sandwich. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. When that last bill said it tastes like a chicken sandwich. <laughs> when it came up. <laughs> We're going some sap green, there's some crimson, a little bit of ivory black, that kind of stuff, and a little bit of sap green. And then you want to do your bushes, so you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna get a hold of myself here. I'm professional. Okay, so you press like this, and make sure you bend your bristles up, just like this. And you do one bush at a time. And then these bushes you do are in the background, okay? All right. Like this, okay? Then you wash that brush out and oh, this paint there. Not turpentine. Of course, if you want to wash yours out in turpentine, go ahead, but I'm going to wash mine out in oh, this thinner. But turpentine would give me a headache. All right, now dry your brush off and then Go back and highlight those. You can highlight them in yellow, yellow ochre, bright yellow, uh, evening yellow if you have it. And then you would go in here and hold your brush like right there and press up, bend your bristles, and then you put them on just like this. Like that. Okay, bend your bristles though. There you go. And then wash that brush out. No, it's paint thinner. Wash that real good. Shake it off and dry it off on paper towel. Then go back in and pick up some some green paint. Come down here and do the far the far uh the middle ground and put these bushes in here. You have three grounds. You have background, middle ground, and in the front. Okay, so you push and bend, push and bend, just like this. <laughs> Oh boy, that's really bad. Oh, that's funny. Push and bend. Okay, push and bend. Now wash that brush out and oh, this there. Shake it off and then you come down here and put some highlight in these bushes. Go in some yellow ochre, bright yellow. In the yellow, or you know, if you have metallic gold, or in, uh, antique gold or something like that, then you can, you know, do some beautiful colors. And then you put those colors like in here. All right, and then you put some bright yellows down here, put some yellow ochre off over there, some, put some bright yellows right here. Then you wash that brush out and all this paint, uh, all this thinner, shake them off and dry it off. Now let me show you how to do grass. Uh, let me show you the wrong way how I used to do grass and correct, uh, the, the correct way of how to do grass nowadays. All right, so you load, uh, uh, load up the brush, say with green paint, we'll say with some sap green, peppermint green light, if I have it. And this is how I used to make grass. Watch this. I used to come like this. That's the wrong way. 
Now, let me show you the correct way how I used to do grass. Watch this. Come in here. Tap it. And when, when you're going to tap in that, you push in your bristles up. Okay, so press, your, uh, press up your bristles just like this and tap this. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that really cracked me up. Okay. And then go back and reload. And come back in here and tap this in too with the brush. I just love this little brush. This is a number number three, and uh, it's a good little brush to have. It's a size three. Okay, if you can scrape it from that paint, I can see it. It's a size number three. Okay, then. Okay, and you got some grass right down here, so you cover this up with grass. Okay, then you're through with the grass. Okay, and you wash that brush out, and let's see. Let's talk about the, oh, the leaves on the trees. Okay, so you go in here and you put leaves on tree. I don't have a one inch brush to show you guys, uh, so, so you're out, out there. So I'm just using this fan brush as a demonstration. So then you would go in here pushing dark colors on. <laughs> there we go, dropping my brush again. Okay, so you do this. You put this into your into your trees, just like so. And then you go in here, put on some tree, put some leaves on a tree. Go back and put some yellow ochre up here. You put that yellow ochre in the highlight. You want to make sure it's very uh, that's you're holding brush very light, very light tapping for, and not to cover up all your darks. Leave some of your darks. Okay. Now we we'll wash that brush out in this paint thinner. Okay, and shake it off and dry it off. Now the next thing is to show you how to do. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the land, the dirt. Now, I would like to show y'all something about this fan brush. Okay. The reason they call it a fan brush, if you notice, it spreads, it spreads out like that. See, uh, y'all, uh, okay. See, that's the reason why it's spread out like that. That's known as a fan brush. That's why it's why they call it a fan brush because it looks like a fan. You know, it looks like one of those paper fans that you that you blow like that. You know how, how you well, you don't you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so it's like a fan, and that's why they call it a fan brush because it spreads out. See, pretty neat, huh? Okay, let's go up here. You put on some highlight to these rocks right here. Come down like this, platoon like that, put rocks in, put a little bit of dirt off over there, and brush those in. But now, I don't say, uh, oh, uh, yeah, I did. What might would help y'all is to y'all sketch out your, your, uh, sketch out your deal first. So, what you do is sketch it out, sketch out a, a waterfall, and so you have to do a waterfall in a minute, but sketch out your scene first, and that might help y'all. Okay? And then, we do the tree, tree shrunk, tree, tree, tree shrunk. <laughs> tree shrunk, tree, tree, uh, shoot. Tree, tree, tree shrunk, tree trunk, tree shrunk. That's not right. That's not, that's not right. Uh... Tree, do the tree, tree trunk, tree trunk, shrunk, chunk tree. <laughs> Ooh, what's the, do the tree trunks. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to come up with that. Okay, I could, could. So you put the tree trunks in down here like this, and then you load your, you, you, you load, load up your, your fan brush. With some paint, come on here and do some tree trunks, tree trunks like this. <laughs> okay, and then just come in here. Oops. 
and do that. Okay, then wash up first out an oldest paint thinner. Dry it off on um, paper towel or rag if you have it. So just like that and then pull. And then you're ready to do the the other part of it. Then you're ready to do the waterfall. Okay? And water is flat, it's just like snow. Okay. So here here we go. Snow is flat also, but this is not snow, this is water. So shoom like this. So push and bend those bristles down just like this. Push and bend. Watch my hand again. I'm gonna hold, hold, hold it back here. Push and bend. Pull it down. Now when I do that, you'll really see how I'm pushing bend. Okay? Push and bend like this. Push and bend. Now here we go. Move like that. See that? Watch that. I'm pushing up. Bend and push. Pushing down just like that. Push and bend. I'll show you one more time. Do this, or what you do, 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 do. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. And somebody's going to say, the cat got your tongue? I don't know why people say the cat got your tongue. That's not correct. All right, so we do, do, do. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we do that. So we come over here and bend down like this, okay? That's, uh, that's putting on your uh that's how you do a waterfall and then you brush in the rest of this and then the next thing you go putting highlights on your tree tree shrimps and tree shrimps <laughs> i'm sorry about that okay so then you load up your i'm gonna drop my knives what's the matter with me okay so then you hope Hold your knife and put the bark on the trees. And then, next thing you know, you're through with your painting. Next thing you know, then you need to sign your painting. So you sign your painting and uh, let's say, look what I'm fishing. I'm fishing sign my name with a fan brush right here. That's wrong. That's wrong. Here it is right here. That's the wrong brush, man. What's the matter with me? That was the wrong brush. Here is the correct brush. Use a, a script line where you have it. And then you come in here, say your name. Next thing you know, you're three. Okay, uh, I want to thank you all for watching Art for the Heart uh, painting show. I'm your host, Mark, here. Remember, subscribe to my channel. It mean a lot to me if you all subscribe to me. Subscribe to my channel and uh, comment me. Comment me on this on this apple right here. This may or would go back and watch one of those other videos I did of a heart. Comment me on this, okay? And check out all my videos up on YouTube. And um, until next time, thanks for watching Art for the Heart Painting Show. I'm your host, Mark Kier. Thanks for watching Art for the Heart Painting Show. Until next time, I'll, uh, until next time, I'll do another video on something. Art for the Heart or Civil War deal. But I'll do another video. Till next time, I'm Artist Mark. Thanks for watching Art for the Heart Painting Show. Bye.